So I'm making pumpkin pizza for Joe and I don't need all of the seeds and pumpkin guts. So I am taking them to the garbage disposal. So I'm done. There you go, garbage disposal. Good guy. On the way to Corinne's house for dinner, just gotta stop off and uh, grab something to drink real quick at the local establishments. Don't know what Corinne's got cooked up for us, but I know that uh, we're ready for it. Let's go. Okay, so Joe just got here, and first impressions on walking in. It smells great. Okay. Okay. Also, I stopped at the Circle K around the corner, and I'm pretty sure it was about to be robbed. <laughs> There's a guy in there being very sketch. Cool, cool, yeah, yeah, yeah. cool. Get out of our neighborhood. Uh, okay, so you said you wanted to kind of take a look around, but you were nervous. So go ahead and take a look around. I'm just going to film your reaction to everything. So I have no idea what any of it is, no. but it smells great. And uh, I see like a pizza of bread. This isn't really a pizza dough. This is like a, a flatbread thing. Uh, yeah, non, but, but it, yeah. I love pizza. I had pizza last night. <laughs> uh, and I'm super hungry, so I'm like ready to get it. Okay, so we, we're gonna have three dishes tonight. Okay. This is one of them. This is its own thing? Yeah. This isn't like a topping that you're gonna sprinkle on something? That's its own thing. That's its own thing. Uh, all right. That will be a <laughs> topping of sorts, but okay. <laughs> this is a topping for its own thing for its own thing, separate from the pizza? Uh-huh. Okay. And then your pizza topping is here. What is that, yams? Pumpkin. Pumpkin? <laughs> You're putting pumpkin on a pizza? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, this is like... You put something that like is supposed to be cheese but isn't on your pizza. But you pumpkin? One, Halloween's over. That's We're done why with pumpkins. I'm, that's why I'm using pumpkin. I had to get rid of the Two, pumpkin. I don't think I've ever eaten anything pumpkin that I liked. Oh, you're gonna love this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's going on here, Joe? Because that was a really interesting reaction. I, I cut open were, this pomegranate. I thought it was an onion, and then it's got like eggs inside of it. <laughs> what the fuck is that? I've never seen that. It's a pomegranate. I mean, I think I've had like pomegranate drinks, but I've definitely never seen the inside of one. That looks gross. <laughs> that looks like some alien shit. Oh, just wait. What the fuck? So, welcome to the third episode of Joe versus the Vegetarian. Um, on the last episode, Joe fed me pizza. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're starting off like that, with that energy. When he got pumpkin on his pizza. Um, Joe fed me pizza. <laughs> Okay. Um, it was horrible. Hold on, my eyes are watering really bad. <laughs> I don't know what's happening here. Anyway, um, so I decided to take our conversations from the last two episodes and retaliate, um, plus get rid of some stuff that was in my kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> that was gonna go bad. That sounds like in, in my family we have what's called the Genjemi omelet. Yeah. Which is when on Sunday morning you would just mix the leftovers in the fridge with eggs and they would call it the Genjemi omelet. Yeah, I mean that's not necessarily what happened here, but I had a giant pumpkin that was gonna go to waste. And you decided, so, I know what to do with it. Pizza. Yeah. Okay, so typically when cooking with pumpkin, I would use a smaller pumpkin called a pie pumpkin or a sugar pumpkin. But since I'm making something that's savory, I'm gonna use this leftover carving pumpkin that I've had in my kitchen. I didn't want it to go to waste, so I cut the top off and I took the seeds out. I didn't have to be too careful because I'm not gonna use the whole thing. This recipe doesn't call for that much. So what I did is I'm cutting them into these rings. I'm cutting off all of the skin because again I can afford afford to waste this and then I'll dice it and I will roast it. That's exactly what I decided. Also is this your take on wings and this is your take on cinnamon? <laughs> <laughs> no this was you telling me that you don't really eat quinoa and I did threaten to make a quinoa pizza and I almost did but again I needed to get rid of the pumpkin. <laughs> and then uh, this is tabbouleh, which is one of the dishes that we talked about when you were talking about shawarma. Yeah. And how you've never really had Mediterranean food. 
This <laughs> shawarma. Okay, <laughs> that is one thing. Um, this is like my go-to anytime I'm at any sort of Mediterranean uh, restaurant. Uh, the Green Corner here in Mesa is one of my favorite restaurants and they make the best tabbouleh. So I decided to make it for you so that you could try it out. By the way, uh, I've had the Green Corner Cafe. It's fantastic. Sure. Yeah, I get, <laughs> I get the pita plate. Okay. Or the Euro, Euro plate. plate. Yeah. yeah, it's great. You get that white sauce. Oh, they kill it with that white sauce. Speaking of uh, shouting out local businesses, Jimmy and Joe's Pizzeria. Yeah. Had them last night. Best pizza I've had since I've been in New York. Oh, I'm gonna have to try it. Fantastic. Sweet. Okay. So we're they don't have a start. pumpkin topping. I you say can we customize your pizza. No pumpkin. <laughs> you want to start with the secretly tabula? love this because it, it's possible. It's possible. Um, I thought it was I nice. actually, I have this thing against the way Americans eat salad because to me, you eat the salad first. Like that was the thing your mom taught you so that you got the healthy stuff out of the way. Yeah. It's very annoying to me because you really should eat the hot food first. Like, why would you start with something cold and let everything else get cold? Yes. What is that? So I say we end here. So start so, with the pizza. Quinoa or pizza? You want to start with pizza? No, let's start with quinoa because I think that, uh, like the first episode we did, I think this is going to be home base after I like pick off of the pumpkin. <laughs> okay. So. So also, on top of this quinoa. That's the insides of that disgusting fruit that you cut open in front of me that looked like one of the alien eggs from the movie Aliens. Is it that is. correct? <laughs> yes, it is alien eggs from the movie Aliens. Perfect. Um, this is a black quinoa. It's herbed with some lemon juice and then radishes, almonds, and I topped it with some pomegranate arils. You obviously love it. I don't like the texture. <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> if the texture is a problem for something like this, you could always add like lentils to kind of break up the like grainy texture of the quinoa. Personally, I like the texture, but. It feels like you don't have an ending point when you chew it. <laughs> it's still just the same stuff. So it's going. And go, it's like grass flavored gum. Okay. That's gonna be my. That's gonna be my teeth until my next dentist visit. <laughs> oh. We eat quinoa a lot around here. Um, one of my favorite things to make for you breakfast. You eat quinoa a lot around? Wait, for breakfast? Yes. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> I make a quinoa with like blistered tomatoes and a poached egg. Obviously. It's like a the kinetic sand scramble. <laughs> it's got that sand that you can mold and stuff. It's like that with some egg on it. I do, uh, again, this was like, I needed to get stuff out of my kitchen. I had like an inordinate amount of black quinoa. I don't Typically, have enough teeth for this. <laughs> I would make this with You gotta like get it real. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> Going back in. But the flavor's good, right? No. <laughs> They're not good. It tastes like kinetic sand. <laughs> okay, well, do like taste magnet it? sand with fucking lemon on it, and then occasionally <laughs> a little tick. This feel this. Uh, the alien eggs from Alien. Yes. Oh my god. Okay. Um, <laughs> the the pomegranate seeds. That is exactly what biting into a tick would taste like. <laughs> that is not what. Okay. Eat that alone. That's not what a tick would taste like. It's a fruit. So, I've been to Nebraska. <laughs> and I've seen my favorite. I've eaten a tick. <laughs> I, I tried one. <laughs> and they pop just like that. <laughs> and they, they don't go away. They have like a husk. It's a husk with a pop. It's like, uh, what are those um, gushers? Mm -hmm. It's like the worst gusher. <laughs> They had this dog. This is like... They had like a farm dog. They would get covered in ticks. And they would throw these big bonfires. And they would call the dog. And the dog would jump across the bonfire. And all the Stop. ticks would pop. <laughs> it, was, it, looked like, it looked like a scene Stop. from Die Hard with a dog. It was just like squibs going on. Amelie begs for pomegranates in her 
lunch. Like, this is her favorite thing. That's because this lunch. is what you give her for lunch. I mean, to Mama, be throw the ticks in. It just connects <laughs> in. I bet you could do exactly what you do with kinetic sand with quinoa. Like, you know how they have, like, those uh, desks for your, uh, or those gardens for your desk that are just the sand that you can kind of, like, play with? You could mold this. Oh, remember your goose thing? <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, no. Nope, nope, nope. Now it just looks like, uh... <laughs> now you have kinetic sand on your hands yep. for life. Don't worry, I'll eat it. <laughs> Alright, I'm cutting this. I think this is our next bite. Oh, we're moving on, okay. <coughs> <laughs> well, oh, shit. You said you need to have like a home base and you thought that that was it, so we'll find out. This is not home base. <laughs> this tastes like eating Venice Beach. <laughs> okay. okay. Quinoa is one of the most like protein dense grains. It's really, really good for you. It's a complete protein, as opposed to a partial protein you get from Even though meat. it's not my favorite thing I've ever eaten, mm -hmm. I do have to say, and I don't know if people watching will understand this, I really appreciate it. <laughs> I really do appreciate you cooking it and making it for me and uh, you wanting me to eat healthier. <laughs> I was thinking about this earlier. Corinne wanting me to eat healthier feels like those videos you see on uh, line where like someone's gonna jump out of a window and then like someone a story above, like a, a paramedic, will swing down, like kick him in the face and knock him back through. <laughs> like, I feel like that's what you're doing. You're like, Joe, you're really sitting on the ledge there. Yeah, and I'm like, I don't care, Corinne. And you're like, all right, whack quinoa. All right, let's try the pizza. Okay. And this is a pumpkin pizza. I saw you put the pumpkin on. I was offended, but with, we're gonna try it. With caramelized onions, uh, some arugula, and just like a basic. This is like food getting delivered. Yeah. But when you this go is, home and eat this something is in my DoorDash is here. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, that's probably my wife's DoorDash. Uh -huh. Love you, honey. Mm -mm. <sighs> mm. I don't. I like everything on here except for the pumpkin, and I just don't like pumpkin. I don't like most fall flavors. <laughs> I don't know that this is gonna read fall flavors to you. There's so much going on that I do like. Mm -mm. Okay. That it's so upsetting. <laughs> That the pumpkin is there. <laughs> Without the pumpkin. I'm like, hell yeah. Let's go with this like <laughs> flatbread. It's not a pizza. It's a flatbread. Let's not discourage or uh, disparage my grandfather. I would like to argue that. What? I would also like to call an expert on that statement. On this being a flatbread? Uh-huh. Uh, as opposed to a pizza. I'm, I'm gonna <clears throat> weigh in on this and I would call it a pizza. Well, I mean, you could call a quesadilla pizza at that point. What qualifies? What, what's a Mexican pizza? That's I mean, absolutely from... not true. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I mean, what, what is it? It's just. Up... All right. Go ahead and stop the video. We're gonna, we're gonna phone a friend. <laughs> we're just gonna be like chewing sounds in the background. <laughs> Are you gonna eat this whole bowl? Um, I don't know. I haven't figured that out yet. Um, okay, so. Our FaceTime call to Renata just failed. No, but she would agree with me. Pumpkin is not a pizza topping, and this is not a pizza dough. I can't this roll is a my, bread. I cannot roll my eyes hard enough. There is oregano, basil, uh, pumpkin, caramelized onion, olive oil, a flatbread, and you mozzarella cheese. You put all cheese. that on a quesadilla. If you subbed out this pumpkin for prosciutto, mm -hmm. it's the exact same thing that they're serving at Pomo Pizzeria down the street. Yeah, it'd be a bomb pizza. <laughs> Okay, since this seems to be home base for you, uh -huh. for this one, I think we should try the tabbouleh. Hold on, let me get a little more home. Oh, you want to cook? Okay, we're even on home Just base. Just so you can try we're it. We're even on home base, but I'm killing you on this. Mm-hmm. Oh. You are doing an excellent job here. But I'm doing what you said earlier, where your mom's like, hey, eat your vegetables first. Can you just get through whatever you have to? I'm just like, mom, can we go to Dairy Queen after? <laughs> 
right, so how many more bites do I have a treat? Yeah, exactly. I hear that 25 times a day. Can we make garlic bread too? Okay. So this is tabbouleh. It is a parsley salad with bulgur, which is a grain. It's an ancient grain. With bulgur? Bulgur. B-U-L-G-U-R. -U like, this is going to be a bulgur salad. Mmm. <laughs> it's got a real afterbite. It starts off normal and it tastes like a pickle. <laughs> um, is there a pickle in that? There's cucumber. And the cucumber is salted to draw the water out. So yeah, I could see where you would like. Very pickly. Take it there. That being said, uh, this is like the best thing for detoxing your body. <laughs> Which of anyone I know, you need. <laughs> so I just like double down on this <laughs> Detox that mm -hmm. fucking pickle. <laughs> parsley is so good for. I don't mind like parsley. A, a, yeah, and this is there's literally three bushels of parsley in this salad. I would rather just eat straight parsley than pickles. And I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what it does, but um, when I, it's like a, a weird hot sauce. Like when you first take a bite of it, it's like, oh, this is like a, a weird shredded salad. But then I've, it's like, no, no, no. And it keeps building on the back end until you're like, a pickle just blew its load <laughs> in your mouth. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was my bad. <laughs> I was the pickle. Caught me off guard. Mm. So, so you, were, you were right in the rankings. You knew exactly how to take me through this. Mm -hmm. I'm. It's funny because like I, I thought that you would comment on the lemon because you hate lemon. I think that may be part of where I'm picking up the pickle. Is it cucumbers with uh, lemon? There's a lot of lemon juice in here, yeah. Two things that I'm a big fan of. Okay. Let's so see. it's probably the two combining to maybe have oh, pickles. <laughs> I mean, I still don't get pickle there, but. Uh, and there's tomato in there, right? Yeah, there's tomato. Literally my least favorite foods, tomatoes, pickles, lemons, in that order. <laughs> it's wild how specific you got. <laughs> I'm gonna need help next time. I'm gonna be like, so Corinne really hates caramel? Okay, I'm not. Cold pork sliders? I'm gonna need like some specific stuff. Okay, here's your And thing. anchovies. Your camera, I like Oh anchovies. no, the pumpkin fell off. <laughs> uh, your, the cameraman has a full list of things that I just dislike entirely. Um, but I'm not trying to cook food that you hate. I'm, I know, you're doing a great job. <laughs> I appreciate it. You're trying to take me off the ledge. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Don't love, quinoa. you know what? I have a new list. It goes tomatoes, pickles, lemons, quinoa. <laughs> but I'm learning. I mean, <laughs> learning about myself. Kimchi, yeah. Oh, I have a new new list. <laughs> Kimchi, tomato, so <laughs> Yeah, mm -hmm. kimchi, kimchi wasn't a food, that's a dare. <laughs> That shit was not something you just pick up at a movie theater before a show. <laughs> That's not food. If you ate kimchi before you went to like a movie, people would be like, ugh, who is this person? They hate you for it. I ate kimchi just about every other day for two weeks after that. Oof. I put it in omelets. I just topped bowls of rice. I um, made a pancake with it. A pancake? What do you mean made a pancake? Mm, sorry. A savory pancake. You just like lumped it up with oil? And no, 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 no. Um, I use a lot of, it's called besom flour. It's a chickpea flour. So. <laughs> 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 You sound very interested, which means 
No, I was thinking of a joke. <laughs> um, is that, oh God. I thought it was a joke. What I is know. the joke? No, you can't say it, not tell it. It's not my joke. I believe the original credit goes to Jonathan Gregory or David Rhodes. I can't remember. I, but I it, heard it from David Rhodes. I think he might have heard it from Jonathan, but I could be wrong. It might be David's. Either way, the joke is, uh, what's the difference between uh, a garbanzo bean and a chickpea? I've never had a garbanzo bean on me before. <laughs> <laughs> We should get David as a guest on. We definitely should. David eats well. David loves food. Like, David loves food, but does he love what it, tabbouleh? Tabbouleh? Yeah. I, I don't know why he wouldn't. In fact, uh, oh, we have a, we have a guest calling in. Okay. Okay. And they. Official Italian from Sicily. Just wait in. The pizza is a pizza. My family's from Lower on the Boot. I don't want to hear it. Lower on the Boot in Sicily? I know. Well, Sicily's an island, <laughs> right? Actually, my family's from Sicily. My grandfather came from Sicily and he moved to New York and he met my grandmother, who also came from Sicily. They moved, they lived a block away from each other in Sicily and they ended up becoming next door neighbors in New York without knowing each other. That's awesome. Yeah. Quite the cute meat love story. Meat cute? <laughs> meat cute. Yeah. All right. Again, I'm going to ask, are you going to eat all that whole bowl? Okay, cool. Because I felt like this is an ungodly amount of both of these two dishes. And I was like, holy fuck. Is this, is this what happens when you don't eat meat? You just have to eat an abundance <laughs> of everything else? You well, okay. 15 cloves of whatever... Well, first, grass. This is. I was starving when I was cooking because mm -hmm. usually I eat a little bit earlier because of my daughter. So my eyes may have been a little bit bigger than my stomach. Um, I also was very hungry. <laughs> Super full now. Super full. <laughs> oh, stole bites of my daughter's broccoli mac and cheese. Mmm, I love a broccoli mac. It's pretty good, actually. I'm going to floss tonight. <laughs> I haven't flossed since my last disappointment. Stop! And I will be flossing tonight. Damn it. Joe, do you need to have a vlog with Shiloh? The, <laughs> the dental assistant. Joe versus the dental <laughs> assistant. No, I got a water uh, electric toothbrush. It does all that. Oh, water. Toothbrush. It does mm -hmm. all that flossing. Mm -hmm. All right. But so, tonight, I'm pulling out the string. What did you eat today? Before this, it's a good I'm question. nervous. It's a good question. So, uh, I should have put that on silent. So today, um, I woke up and was running late, so I didn't have time to uh, eat breakfast. So I was like, you know, what? I'm gonna run through Starbucks and get a mocha frap. Uh, I got up to the window and they're like, oh, we actually don't have the stuff for a mocha frap. So I'm like, ah, shoot. All right, well, I'll take a bottle of water. So I had a bottle of water. And then uh, for lunch, uh, we've been playing this game with some of my students called Sevens. And we started betting candy on it. Uh, and I came up big at lunch in Sevens. So for lunch, I had uh, a Rice Krispie treat, um, three bite-sized Snickers, and a bag of peanut M&Ms. <laughs> and I was like, I guess I'm good. And then around like two, started to crash a little bit from all the sugar. So I went next door and I got an Arizona iced tea. Uh, and then came over here, had some Jameson and uh, some quinoa and some pumpkin pizza. How many Diet Cokes did you have today? That's crazy. Uh, I had two, which is a low number. We were at the, I, I help out at the food bank and I had, uh, no, not even two, I had one. Okay. I had one Diet Coke today. That's extraordinarily low for you. And Tomorrow's proud. my grocery store shop. Or my grocery sh store shopping day. <laughs> tomorrow's my grocery store shopping day. <laughs> so I'll be getting uh, a bigger thing. So I'll probably have a couple tomorrow. But it's Diet Coke. It's fine. 
I just think Joe. What's cracking this pizza again? Like, I don't know, upwards of 25 articles telling him about how much worse diet soda is. Yeah, and she keeps saying <laughs> that it's because it has aspartame in it, but I'm pretty sure I've seen the studies and adults are supposed to take one aspartame a day. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> it helps with your heart or something, right? Worst a joke ever. Uh, <laughs> trust me, I'm <laughs> So your rankings here. Rankings. So we have Tabuli. Which Rank. <laughs> Rank. I. This is so good. I don't know how you could not like Tabuli. Tabuli is a truly my nightmare. That is not in my flavor profile wheelhouse. Oh. oh, Diet Coke, <laughs> peanut M&M's, and, and pizza? Pizza. Pizza. So I'm going to give Tabuli a one. What do we go at? Uh, are we a one out of five or ten? We'll go ten. I can't remember what we did. Okay, one out of ten. Tabuli is a one. Can't get it far enough from me. You give the mushroom dashi. Yeah. A one. Wait, no, the mushroom dashi, uh... No, you're thinking kale muchim, you gave it two. Oh, wait, did I, did I do it backwards? Is one high? No, one is low. Yeah, this is a one. <laughs> that is the most one I've ever... If there was something lower than a one, I'd probably go with it. But it's nourishment, so I can't say zero. <laughs> so we'll go one. This, we'll say, is a one and a half. That is uh, gravel with ticks in it. <laughs> but at least it doesn't taste like pickles. But even though I don't think of pumpkin as the greatest pizza topping and never will, you really hide the pumpkin in it. You did a great job of me going like, could that be turnips or something? <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever eaten a turnip? Yeah, I've had turnips. <laughs> They're like potatoes, right? They're like, yeah, kind of like potatoes. It's a root vegetable. Yeah. Uh, so, and I don't think uh, potato is a good veg or, or a topping for a pizza either. <laughs> but you did good enough to go in like, yeah, that could just be potatoes. <laughs> and everything else, the moths, the sauce. Uh, was that like a pesto sauce you did? No. Just oil and oil, seasoning? Oil, chili uh, flakes, some Italian seasoning, garlic. Brush it on, call love, it a day. Love the sauce, love the moths. Actually, kind of, there's a- Arugula. Arugula. Yeah, a little bitters. Not super bad. Okay. Uh, again, you replace the pumpkin with some prosciutto. <laughs> I'm not complaining about if it's a pizza or not. I'm just <laughs> it. Still in my heart, it's not gonna be a pizza because it's all non, which is non-pizza dough. <laughs> it is basically pizza dough. <laughs> close. I'm sorry. Enough. I spent an hour and a half cooking for you and I didn't have time to <laughs> freshly make pizza dough. <laughs> Again, I appreciate well, it very much. Mom. Appreciate it very much. No. Uh, so I will give the pumpkin pizza. I want to be more, I'm, I'm trying to be discerning. Honest. I, because honest. I know, but because okay. I'm so appreciative, I wanted to go higher. I was going to give you an eight, but it's pumpkin. So if I'm being completely honest, we'll go 7.5, but still a 7.5. It's higher than we've gotten so far. That's pretty incredible. Oh wait, no, you gave the noodles an eight last time. The noodles so. was home base. <laughs> okay, cool. Well, and this felt less like home base and more like uh, you run to home base and then someone goes, <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, what happened there? Okay, cool. Well, at least I got you some nutrient-dense foods into your system. I appreciate it. I needed it. I had Rice Krispie Treats and candy for lunch. God. I know. That I, was bad. I'm going to calculate. When we, when I go to edit this, I'm going to calculate exactly how many grams of sugar oh, you it ate was today. A I told you, I crashed. <laughs> it was like 2 o'clock, and I'm like, whew. I need some water. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, cheers to another successful dinner. Loved it. Thank you. Cool. See you on the next one.